Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bang and Dang and I'm a type 1 diabetic and today I'll be reviewing the Guardian sensor system. Many of you have probably heard of the new Minimed Pump 670G. One feature of the pump that specifically drew me in was their sensor system, the Guardian Connect. Today I'm going to be discussing the pros and cons of the Guardian system along with my thoughts and recommendations. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave it down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching. So first I'll be discussing the pros of the Guardian system. The first one I have to share is its convenience. Because the Guardian system is part of the pump, it makes it extremely convenient as you only need one pump and one device at all times. I remember when I was using Dexcom, I liked how it was on my phone because I felt like it was easily accessible. However, this kind of made it difficult at times because I had to have my phone with me at all times if I wanted my sensor reading. However, because Guardian is right there on your pump and your pump is on you at all times, it makes it really, really convenient um, more than any other system I've ever tried to use. Additionally, sometimes I would get too far away from my phone so it would lose the reading. However, like I said, as diabetics, we have our pumps on us 24 seven, so we will always have the reading for you. The second pro I'll be talking about is the auto mode feature part of the Guardian sensor. Auto mode is a feature of the pump that works with the sensor to correct your basal throughout the day to keep your blood sugars in good reading. It's a delivery feature which automatically corrects basal insulin and injections into you so that you always are in range. So basically what it does is the pump reads what your sensor reading is and if you're 200 then it'll up the basal so that it's giving you more insulin to bring your blood sugar down to keep it in the range you specify. Likewise, if your blood sugar is going down and it sees it's two arrows down at 100, then it might suspend the basal or stop it so that it goes back up to the reading that you want it to be at. This is a really great feature of the pump because it helps me stay in range without having to constantly look at my pump or adjust the basal myself, but it does it automatically through the pump and the sensor systems. And the third pro I'll be talking about is the accuracy. From my experience, if you follow all the guidelines and calibrate when needed, this sensor system has been very, very accurate for me. So now I'll be moving on to the cons of the Guardian sensor system. The first one I'm going to be talking about is the amount of calibrations it requires. So I remember Dexcom, they said that they require a new calibration every 12 hours. I'm not sure how many times the Guardian has broadcasted itself as, but it's definitely asking for it more than just two times a day, which can be frustrating. I know that the Guardian is asking for more because it needs to make sure it's completely accurate to use the auto mode however it can be frustrating if it's constantly asking for new blood sugars if you're busy or if you're in the middle of the day additionally if you don't calibrate it when it asks sometimes it will shut down within the next five to ten minutes or so or 20 so basically if it asks for a calibration and then you don't calibrate it within a certain time frame then it will shut off the auto mode and it'll shut off the sensor and it won't give you any readings until you do calibrate which can be extremely frustrating if you're in a tight space or you're tight on time and you can't calibrate at that exact moment and then it just shuts down everything and you have to re-up it later on when you are able to calibrate. The Dexcom doesn't do this as I remember and if you don't calibrate then it just will wait but it will continue giving the readings. I also noticed that many times I calibrated before I went to bed so maybe at 12 o'clock I calibrated and the next day at 8 a.m. I would see that it didn't give me any sensor readings for the night because it asked for a calibration maybe at 3 a.m. but I didn't respond because I was sleeping. Then the sensor shut off and it doesn't have that auto mode at night and it also didn't give me any sensor readings for the entire night. The second con I'll be talking about is alerts part of the Guardian sensor. So even though you can silence alerts for the Guardian sensor on your pump, if you silence it, it still vibrates. It has a, um, it will automatically still vibrate. So this can be frustrating, especially if it's asking for a calibration at like 3 a.m. as I mentioned earlier and it starts vibrating like crazy and it's just asking for calibration this can be really annoying late at night or if you're in a meeting or at school or something and it just keeps vibrating. Next con I'll be talking about is the fact that you can't share your sensor with others. So with the Dexcom system because it's on the phone and it's using Bluetooth with your phone and your Dexcom you were able to share it with others. So when I had the Dexcom I would share it um, with my parents and they were able to track my blood sugars when I was at school or wherever I was. But because the Guardian sensor is part of the pump even though that is a pro that I talked about 
The con of it and the downside is that you can't share it with others through the phone as it's going through the pump. So this can be a con for many parents with young diabetic children because they want to be able to monitor their kids' blood sugars. So I would definitely think about that if you're thinking about which company to go with. So my final con is that sometimes I wasn't able to use a full cycle and you it's really hard to reuse the cycle. With Dexcom, I was always able to spread out one site over two weeks or two cycles. I know that you're supposed to only use it for one, but we can all be honest here. We're all trying to use it for more. So with the Guardian, I've noticed that sometimes I can't even make it through one full cycle because something goes wrong or the site falls off, etc. And I've definitely not really had that much success using it for two cycles. So with Dexcom, it's much more successful in using it for multiple or the full cycle. Additionally, the Guardian sensor, its infusion set doesn't stick on as well as the Dexcom I've noticed because Dexcom, it's kind of centered versus Guardian. It's a tiny noodle at the top and then it's kind of like rounded out with the transmitter at the end. It's kind of hard to explain, but it doesn't stick on as well, which also means that the site doesn't last as well. So that's something to think about if you're comparing the two systems. So that's my whole video on the pros and cons of the Guardian sensor. I'm really happy with it because I think it's a great system and it has worked pretty well for me. However, there are cons to think about when deciding what sensor system to go with. If you guys have any of your own experiences, please feel free to share it down below to help other people out. And if you have any questions or comments, please also make sure to leave those down below. I hope you guys are all doing well and thanks for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.